Hey guys, Adrian here, XIP Training Systems. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your push band uh, in the reconditioning process. In this case, we've got a, uh, an ACL uh, repair and we're, we're trying to you know, decide when this athlete is ready to return to play. Now, uh, Lindsay has just started her getting more uh, multi-directional, uh, change of direction, uh, some of these more reactive ballistic type movements she's starting to see those back into her training again uh, but one thing we haven't done is tested her symmetry in terms of power from one leg to the other now there is plenty of uh, you know ACL tests that they use for the return to play process um, line jumps uh, triple jump uh, standing single leg jump in this case we're going to do a single leg counter movement jump and we're going to look at her power and velocities created from one side to the other okay so Lindsay we're going to start with your right leg and she's going to do two jumps you ready shoot her on go ahead drive good relax and one more Dip drive, everything you got, let's go get up. Good, relax. Okay, so right side's in. We had a average speed of 0.77 meters per second. All right, so right leg's done. Now we're gonna move on to her left. Go ahead, hands on hips. Dip and drive, get up. Relax, reset. Drive with everything you got, let's go. Good, relax. Now we'll look at the left side. So here we find that she's getting pretty close. Okay, her first jump was 0.74 meters per second. Her second jump was 0.78 meters per second. So both jumps averages, and this is velocity, just a little bit higher than her, um, her uh, surgery side but within a couple meters per second. And, and same with power, her uh, power output 534 and 524. So she really was very close on both sides. She's, she's really becoming much more symmetrical in terms of what she has for performance you know, output. Again, in a very sagittal setting, um, you know, looking at the sport of, of soccer, which will be her next, her next uh, competitive season, yeah, there's a lot of the things that come into play in terms of change of direction and uh, just how ready that joint is. But as an indicator of what she's doing, uh, you know, performance-wise, power and velocity, this is a great way for, for us as the coach to see and the athlete to start to build some confidence and that, hey, look at what my training has done for me. Uh, and these two legs are, are performing uh, at a pretty equal level. So. Just another reason why using these metrics, uh, such as the push band, become very valuable to both the coach and the athlete, and the return to play, uh, you know, situations with these athletes. So, uh, hope you guys, hope you guys like the video. For more, be sure to click on the link below and subscribe. We'll see you next time.